Hip hop defines our culture, what we accept, what we say, even how we treat women. The genre has had such an influence, there's a new slogan for that, Hip Hop Nation. So how do Christians who have the same gift navigate, but with the answer in their lyrics? It's everything that runs counterculture to hip hop's agenda, music that motivates a generation. Hip hop artist and God Chasers Entertainment founder Brinson gives us his outlook. So, so growing up, you know, um, my brother was into a lot of hip hop, you know, he's an 80s baby, so he exposed me to a lot of guys, Run DMC, LL Cool J, um, 2 Live Crew, NWA, Ice Cube, just, you know, a lot of gangster rap, Scarface, Ghetto Boys. So, you know, I grew up on a lot of hip hop, and uh, when I used to go to the school in, in high school, you know, I came up on guys like Onyx and Wu-Tang Clan, Outkast, UGK, and you know, I, I just knew how much of a, a big impact hip hop was for my life, you know, um, it's because it's motivational music and it motivates you to do what it, it is, you know. So if it talks about hood stuff and, and trapping, which is selling drugs and, um, you know, degrading women, you actually go out and act all that stuff out. So um, in high school, I used to fight a lot. Like I was such a violent guy. Like I would listen to a lot of hip hop before school and just get hyped up and go out and fight, get suspended, expels, carry guns to school, just a whole bunch of things. Like I, I, drugs wasn't my thing, alcohol wasn't my thing, but I was a violent guy. So, you know, when God saved me and changed me, I, I knew how big of an impact music is. So I created God Chases Entertainment. Um, after college, I went to Belmont University in Nashville. Uh, studied music business because I wanted to learn the business aspect because it's, even though it's ministry, it's a business aspect to it and I wanted to be good at it and do it right. So when, when I rededicated my life to the Lord, I was like, God, what do you want me to do? Because I stopped doing music. I stopped everything. I just wanted to preach, actually. And um, God was like, I didn't take you through this journey for you to put it down, so pick it all up now and do it for me. So I started God Chases Entertainment in 2006 and um, started releasing albums 2007. I put out over 30 projects since 2007. And I, my attitude was flood the hood with, with music, with God chasing music and, and just stay in this studio, get a couple of guys who, who got the heart of God, the Great Commission. And like on every project, we put altar calls on it because I'm about the Great Commission and, and souls. And you know, a lot of people are like, we don't want to do that anymore, but I don't know how who hands this album is going to get into because my albums go to prisons, it go to group homes, it goes to boys homes, it goes to all sorts of places and I never want to miss an opportunity to present the gospel of Christ Jesus. So, you know, that's why I started God Chases and, you know, I've been all around the country, a couple of other countries just telling people to chase God and doing it over dope beats, rhymes and stuff like that. So, you know, that's, that's, that's the story.